up my peeps this is Tara with kittens weights and tarot bringing you a review of the oracle of the goddess or das oracle de Gotten. so this is by guy and sylvie winter and joe dose um and at first when it arrived in the mail i thought it was a vhs cassette tape so i mean they gotta find some way to use these vhs um like covers right <laughs> So, um, obviously a, um, German version of the deck. Um, I, I had seen this on, um, oh gosh, I forgot whose YouTube channel and like, um, I have, um, you know, this artwork, you know, from one of my tarot decks and I'm like, well, gosh, I got to get the Oracle deck too, because I love the artwork on here. Um, and Everywhere I looked for the English version of this, it's like crazy expensive. And I was like, well, like, hell no. <laughs> you know, there's there's a certain limit where I think that, you know, I I don't want to pay that for, for um, a deck. So um, I saw on uh, Elf and Tarot's, um, Elvira's YouTube page that she has this deck and it's the German version of the deck. And I was like duh like I should I should look for some decks you know in other languages and it could possibly I could get it that way so I ended up finding this deck on abebooks.com and I'll put the link to that down below and I got it for uh let's see I think this was like $19 um it took five weeks to get to me from Germany but well worth it <laughs> so let's go ahead and look at my uh VHS box here <laughs> So I was so stoked when it came, but like I said, at first I was like, who ordered a VHS tape like in this house? We don't even have a VHS player. Actually, my, my high school still has VHS players because high schools are a little far behind. Okay, so you open it up and it starts with the guidebook and then the cards are underneath. So we'll get to the cards in just a minute. Um, this is in German, so um, I know that most of you out there are English speaking, so I'm just going to go through this really quickly. But hey, you know, Google Translate. If you get a deck and you don't know the language, we have Google Translate. We have the technology. We can rebuild it. We can make you faster, stronger. All those wonderful things. Okay, so it's just a list of all the goddesses. Um, and they're divided into um, their... Um, like what, what spirituality they come from. Okay, so you have your introduction, um, and then it'll go into the cards. Um, there's a keyword for um, the goddess, and then it tells you kind of the background story of the goddess or what it means um, as if you pull that as an oracle. Okay, so it kind of goes through there just like that, and then da, 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 get into the back. Oh, this is the Tibetan goddess. This was the last one. It's Tara. It's me. Psych. It's a goddess. <laughs> um, but there is a story that goes with this one, and I'll, I'll get to that when we get to the cards. Okay, so there is your author, and there is your illustrator. There we go. It's the vision quest. Yes, I have the vision quest, Tara. And there we go. Lovely book. Lovely book can go on the shelf. Okay, so let's pull our cards out. And they are kept nice and safe in here. Okay, so um, I would say just a little bigger than your regular oracle size, um, but not so big that I can't do, you know, a side shuffle like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at these cards. And when we get to the Terra card, not tarot card, Terra card, <laughs> um, I'll tell you that little story. Okay, so here's our goddesses. I love the color. I love the illustration. Oh, bam. Okay, so we're already at the Terra card. Okay. Um, this deck was missing, this card, um, because I, I bought it used. And I was like, what the fudge balls, right? Um, you know, I, I don't really want to wait another five weeks to like get this card if I get the card. So I was like, okay, we're going to have to get a little crafty crafty. Um, so what I did is I know that I have this premium photo paper just laying around. Um, my former choir director, he was just clearing out his 
desk and stuff and he was giving me his photo paper and so I have this kind of super glossy photo paper it kind of matches let me pull one of the other cards kind of matches the gloss of the cards so I was like hmm but the card is um, you know it's got kind of a stiffness to it I mean obviously you can see it's it's pretty thin but it's not flimsy at all so and I'm like this is a lot flimsier than that card um, so, but I figured it, since it was so thin, if I took two of these and put them back to back, um, then that should work. So what I did was I photocopied, I did a color copy onto here, um, from the backs of one of the cards. I was like, great. And then I found, um, an image of this on the internet, a nice quality image. Um, and then I was able to download it on my computer and then I printed that um, on the second sheet of paper. I took the two sheets um, and I used actually super glue. I didn't want to use any other type of glues because I know that sometimes they discolor or they bleed um, They bleed through uh, when I've used like really thin um, like fabrics or card cells like but I know super glue is pretty good at not seeping through or discoloring things but it, it, it makes an instant bond uh, so as soon as I put it on I had to just like make sure that this laid on top as perfectly as possible otherwise I was fucked and I had to um, like do it all over again and then I just took a pair of scissors and I just made this like as smooth as I could I don't even have an edger or anything I just I just had to I don't know use some skill <laughs> and there you go I have my tarot card now and I didn't have to wait for it. I was like, screw this. I can make my own cards, damn it. So yeah, that's the story of the tarot card. And the irony is not lost on me that my name is Tara and um, I'm the card that's missing. <laughs> um, so I laugh because yeah, I get, I get tons of messages like this from the universe and I was like, okay, I get the message. So, <laughs> okay, so this was actually the um, card I posted on Instagram today was Pele. Fun fact, I was in the movie Pele as an extra when I was a year old. Um, they filmed part of the movie Pele down here in San Diego, um, not having to do with the goddess or anything, the actual soccer player. Um, and uh, they offered the people in the area if they want to be extras for like, a McDonald's cheeseburger. They were going to pay them a McDonald's cheeseburger. So my mom was like, score. And she was like, can I have my daughter in there? They're like, yeah. And so since I was only a year old, um, obviously I can't eat a cheeseburger, but my mom ended up getting two cheeseburgers and she was so excited. So like towards the end of the movie, they're like scanning the crowd and, um, I'm in there with my mom. I'm like a year old. So it's like 1982, you know, anywho. <laughs> Um, ooh, this is an energy that I love working with is Amaterasu, uh, Omakami. And I have her in another deck and she tends to come up a lot. We got Mother Mary, Hathor. Hathor comes a lot up a lot for me as well. And actually she was in a dream last night. Now that I think about it. Oh, speaking of uh, Shakti and um, and like the whole Kundalini rising or Kundalini rising and things like that. Okay, so I started tripping out in my meditations where I started seeing a white snake. And I was like, okay, I hate snakes. But like my guides were like, oh, you don't have to fear the snakes. The snake is like straight up like this. It's not even coiled. And it's staring at me. It's got this gold crown above its head. Okay, I'm not on LSD, y'all. I just have really trippy meditations. <laughs> I drink tea and it's like green tea. I'm not... <laughs> anyway, so um, now when I meditate and I'm going through my chakras, the snake is like in my chakras and it's like straight up and down. And sometimes now I see like a flame above my head, kind of like Bridget, but like a small flame and like a small like white coiled snake. So that's pretty cool. Thought I'd let you guys know that. And like everywhere I look, there's like snake imagery everywhere. I'm like, I don't like snakes. I mean, I'm not scared of snakes. Um, I've petted snakes before. Um, there's snakes that roam around my area. I had to long jump a snake when I was doing hills one time. I was like racing up our hill because I was doing a workout. And um, <laughs> there was a snake in the middle of the street and it was like kind of after dark. And I was like, what the deuce? And I had to like freaking long jump this snake and it like coiled up. And I was like, ah, and I just kept running. So 
<laughs> okay, but um, here are the backings. I don't think I got to show that off in any detail earlier. And I'm just going to give these a little shuffle. And then I'm going to lay three of them down without asking a proper question or anything. I just want you to see aesthetically how this might look in a reading. So let's do a three card spread as if this were a reading. So we have Callie, we have Rhiannon, and we have Bridget. And there you go. All right, so let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, and if you have this deck or, you know, and I don't think it matters if you get this in the, another language except for the guidebook being in the other language because the names are going to be, I mean, that's not, their names aren't in another language. So, yeah, so I think um, I made out pretty well on this and um, I, I didn't even mind that I was missing a card because it all worked out in the end. I was like, Psh, I'll make my own card. <laughs> so Tara is back. <laughs> All right, so if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe, and I'll see you spiritual homies later. All right, peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.